Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get Android Marshmallow onto your rooted Android device. Now, I am back in this room. You can tell obviously we've still got the same setup going on here, but we haven't got the computer. That's because we've moved into another room over there. So if you haven't seen the setup tour for that, that is already up. I'll leave the link in the description, go and check that out. Also, if you haven't already, we have got a Blogbrothers account on there. We do cool things like time lapses, uh, montage videos and all of that so if you're interested in that don't forget to head over there link always in the description and subscribe over there It'd be great to see you so without any further ado let's get straight into this video okay guys so before we go into this video there's a few things I want to mention one um, all the links to these downloads will be in the description I'm not going to go through how to tell you how to download them on your phone um, you just go onto the link and it will download it. Secondly, any type of gaps really should work for this, so just make sure you have a load of gaps installed. And thirdly, this will actually wipe everything you've got on your phone. So if you've got any apps you want to save, make sure you do a backup. If you want a video on how to do backups of your apps and your app data, let me know and I will do a video in the future. But that's basically all of the stuff you need to know before you do this. So that's it guys. Let's get straight into this. Okay, so as I said, we are installing Cyanogen Mod 13 on the Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9 100. Now I'm going to leave the links to the download in the description box. Um, so go there to get the download. Um, this also won't work if you are on a uh, different model number. So if you are on a Samsung Galaxy S3, search um, your model number. So come down to about phone and it'll tell you your model number here. Okay, so search for your model number and the GTI 9100, so then type in Cyanogen Mod 13 for your model number and then get that download. So what we do now is once we've downloaded it, we want to download it onto our external SD card. So I've done that, so I'm going to head and reboot into recovery. So you can either do it like I've done just there, alternatively you can shut your phone down, hold down the power button, home button and volume up buttons until your recovery mode appears. Now you do need to have a uh, KitKat compatible clockwork mod recovery um, or TWRP recovery. Installing this will get rid of the um, ability for your phone to mount your SD card. So I suggest you have um, Jodin installed on your computer. I'll leave a link in the description. I've got a video on how to do stuff with Jodin on your Mac or if you're on PC it's very simple. There's loads of videos on that. But if you're on Mac I've got a video for you. Okay so what we want to do is come into this settings here. Okay so we want to go to install zip from SD card. Okay, so choose zip from internal SD card. That's where I've saved mine. I'm going to come down to download and here it is Cyanogen Mod 13 Nightly i9100.zip. So we're just going to click that, select that, um, using volume up to go up, volume down to go down, and power button to select. We're going to scroll down and we're going to say yes install. So we're going to leave that to install and we'll be back in a second when it's done. Okay guys, I just quickly like to point out, I'm sorry if the lighting's really orange, um, not a lot I can do about that at the moment. I've tried to change the white balance, but I don't know if it's helped. Okay, so you can see that we have now successfully installed the new ROM. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to our SD card, and we're going to install um, some gaps. So I already have some downloaded. All you need to do is just type in to Google gaps for your model number and for the ROM, and there'll be a load of links and download that. I will put some links in the description for certain gaps. Okay, so I've successfully installed some gaps. Um, a suggestion I would say is download gaps for all types of ROM. So for me, um, I've got lollipop gaps, I've got Kit Kat gaps, and jelly bean gaps. And if one of them doesn't work, I'm just gonna try another one. Um, so that's the best option for you really. So now we've done that, we're going to head back. We're gonna go into advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, Yes. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go into wipe data factory reset and delete all user data. Okay, so once we've done all of that, we want to just come down here and click on wipe cache partition. So again, power button to select and then we're just going to scroll down and say yes, wipe cache. Okay, so we are now complete and we are ready to reboot system. So we're just going to click reboot system now. And then yes, if you get that. Okay, because this is a new version of Android, it's a new ROM, you're basically putting a new operating system on your phone, it's gonna take a lot longer to boot up, then has to go through the process of installing all of your gaps onto your phone. So, 
Don't be too alarmed if this takes too long to complete. I will be back once it is done. Okay, so it is now finished installing the ROM and rebooting. Um, this is what we're kind of greeted with. Yours should be very similar when you come back in. Um, so you can just select your language and then continue to set up your phone as you normally would. So I'm getting errors saying Google Account Manager stopped. Um, if you have errors like that, usually what it means is your ROM hasn't installed properly. So you want to do something like just go back into recovery, format your system and then reinstall the ROM from scratch. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm now wearing a different shirt in a different room, it's because the camera battery ran out, so I'm filming the final part of that video that I was just filming. So um, we've now installed the new um, ROM and this is basically what it looks like. So it's basically like Android Lollipop, same thing on the lock screen, just the icons are ever so slightly different. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough what it looks like now. Okay, so as I said, it's very similar to uh, lollipop, you've got your um, slide to get your camera here and you've also slide to get your uh, phone dialer there. Um, so if we just slide to unlock, this is just what the home screen looks like, very similar. You can see the icons are very slightly different um, and then this is what the home screen also looks like. So if I just um, come into settings, just to show you that I am running Android Marshmallow. Now this is actually a stable version of the ROM so it's, you shouldn't have any problems with it. And if you do, don't forget to let me know in the uh, comments and I'll try and help you out as much as I can. But <coughs> one nice thing is this, oh wow, that's the first time I've got past the first shot. So yeah, is this, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's basically the same thing as it was on Lollipop, just with marshmallows. But yeah. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was definitely uh, good fun filming. So if you want anything more like this, don't forget to let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a like for this new setup, by the way. Kind of, kind of quite liking it. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, leave a like. Head over to Blog Brothers as well. Um, and if you enjoy those videos, don't forget to subscribe there. Um, and I think that's basically it. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Live long and prosper.